Hi, my name is Michael LaBelle and I'm a Renishaw Applications Engineer and I've been installing equators in automated cells since 2014. I'm going to explain some of my experiences working with customers and integrators and their reasons for using the equator in automated cells and how the installation went. Now, a question I often get asked is why do manufacturers want the equator to be part of their automated cells? And it's really for the same reasons that the automated cells exist in the first place. It removes repetitive action for operators, eliminates subjectivity and quality, and allows for 24-7 lights out operation. The equator can neatly integrate into the automated cells material handling scheme as well, which allows for part sorting for quality control. Having the equator as part of the automated solution also gives the reliable data capture and the ability to achieve tighter process control through automated tool offsetting based on the inspection results. I've been involved in automated cells for all sorts of different parts and the equator has adapted to each specific requirement of each application. One example, a large producer of automotive transmission parts uses a chain conveyor which feeds through the equator's legs. The parts are then lifted into the measurement volume for inspection before being returned to the conveyor for the next processing step. There have been a few automated cells that I've worked on that produce medium volume medical parts, with one of these applications making pump parts for medical ventilators and the other used for small sized medical implants. In both of these applications, the machine tools could be set up to create a different component. The flexibility of the equator system allows for meeting the inspection requirements of the new component with only a fixture change. In another automotive application, a supplier was producing parts fed from six different machining setters. The automated setup had multiple part types being inspected on the equator with a universal fixture and allowed for automated data collection due to part tracking capabilities from each of the machines. In aerospace, we supplied an equator for a cell making fuel injection components for aircraft engines. Here they used an autonomous vehicle with a robot arm to deliver parts for inspection. I always look forward to doing more automated cells and I know that we have the knowledge and experience to integrate the equator into all kinds of applications.